Hi there, Rabbi. How you doing? I'm great, Joe, and you can see I'm on the road again. Well, I don't want to be rude about it, but it's time to get off the road and do another How to Be Jewish in 30 Seconds. And with that, tell me if I'm pronouncing this right. We discuss Dorit Eretz. Derech Eretz. You say it much better than I do. Derech way Eretz, ground or earth. It literally, it doesn't have much of a meaning. But when we hear the word Derech Eretz, we hear our mother, our grandmother, our grandfather, our father. We hear somebody reminding us that our behavior isn't polite. Now, we did a 30-second on Marit Ayan, how do things appear, how, what impressions you give to people, what impressions you want to give to people, are your actions consistent with who you are. Derek Eretz is independent of that thinking of yourself, of how will people think of you. Derek Eretz is being polite. It's how a human being should behave in society. You know, when you're alone, whether it's at home or in a hotel room, wherever you might be, you don't have to worry about which fork to use or am I dressed appropriately for the occasion. However, once we're in public, once we're with other people, that's when we want to do or pay attention to Derek Eretz. Am I polite? Do I say please? Do I say thank you? Do I smile? Do I acknowledge other people's presence? Do I acknowledge what other people have to say? And that is why grandma, grandpa constantly would remind us and of course, we would smirk or snicker or make fun without realizing that they were spot on with something. Derek Eretz is really important in society. And what we're watching today is it's falling apart. And look at the result. People are mean. People cut you off in traffic. People are nasty. And what I'm asking us to do, very, very Jewish, is be polite. Given the setting, given the situation, not for a reward, not for appearance sake, not for anything other than it's the only way that we can live together as a society. But what about those people who never really had the benefit of knowing which salad fork uh, to use for the endive versus the seafood or how to tell um when to talk and when to let other people talk. So many people today, we are now in generations of people who never really were taught good manners and are acting as adults. What I've discovered, Joe, is if I'm polite, even some of the most unpolite, obnoxious people in a few minutes, they get polite because they know you don't have to have lessons. We're not talking about which fork to use. That's a different 30 seconder. We'll do that at another time. The forks, the plates, the dishes, and the glasses. That's separate lessons. The If we watch our own language, if we say please and thank you, I've discovered the other person will become embarrassed. They know. You don't have to give lessons. People know when they're being rude. They do. And they know when they're pushing themselves ahead of other people. I'm asking us to follow their herits and not worry about the Schmendricks or about the others out there. The Kumi Lemos, who will be disrespectful and not polite. Let them do their thing. However, I can only relate to you my own experience. When I'm polite, after a few minutes, some of the most obnoxious people I've met become polite. Well, I don't need to be told to say thank you, Rabbi. Again, as always, your wisdom is appreciated and respected. And thank you again for being you. You're welcome, Joe. And for our viewers and listeners out there, you can always send me your questions about which fork to use or how to be polite.